Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get this really cool kind of rocker pinup hairstyle. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. First, I'm just starting out with my normal natural hair. It is better to do this on one or two day hair when it's a little greasy. To fix the grease, I first used just some regular dry shampoo. This is the Not Your Mother's brand. Got this at Target for around $5. And I'm also going to be using my VP Fashion Hair Extensions. If you would like, I do have a coupon code down in the description box for you if you are interested. So first I'm just going to kind of brush through my hair just getting all of the tangles out uh, because that's really important if you're going to be teasing your hair you want to make sure that you brush everything out first. And then just kind of part your hair down the middle so you have something to prepare the extensions with and it also kind of helps cover my side cut just for the beginning part of this. So first I'm just going to take my four piece weft from my extensions and I'm going to part my hair right behind my head just right in the middle just so it's kind of out of the way and so we have some hair underneath it to clip the extensions to. Then after you clip that up, I'm just using a regular teasing comb. I got this years ago from Sally's, but anything that will tease your hair will work just fine. And I'm going to be taking the little bits on the um, part that we parted, and I'm going to be teasing that a little bit because my hair is quite thin. And I want something for the extensions to grab onto. Since my hair is so thin, teasing it a little bit will really, really help the clips kind of stay secure. Now to clip in the extensions, we're going to be doing it a little bit differently. I'm actually going to be putting them in upside down. The reason for this is because we are going to be putting our hair into a ponytail. So putting the extensions in upside down, when you go and pull it up into a ponytail, the clips should lay perfectly flat. If you were to put them in regularly, you would have clips sticking out everywhere. So after I do that, let my hair down, see that everything is covered, and then I just continue with the rest of my extensions. Depending on how thin or thick your hair is, you can put as many as you want in. You don't have to use extensions at all. It's totally up to you and what you want to do for this. So again, I'm just teasing the hair a little bit just for something to grab onto. And then we are going to be repeating the process of clipping the extensions in upside down. So, you know, it just makes the ponytail a lot easier. This is a little hard at first. This is my like only my second time trying it this way. So it does take practice, but practice makes perfect and that's the best you can do. So just do it the best you can and then you should be all good. Next, you will need a hair tie and a brush. Just I'm just using a regular paddle brush and I'm gonna be taking all of my hair back into a ponytail so we can prepare it to be nice and tied up. So just very carefully kind of maneuver your hair over the extensions and brush it up and pick it up as best as you can. And again, since my hair is so thin, I did have a little trouble with the bottom clips, but they were perfectly easy to move around and hide, so that really wasn't a big deal at all. I just kind of tucked them up and reclipped them, but you know, it happens, and then I just tied my hair up into a ponytail like so. Next, I'm going to be taking just regular old bobby pins and I'm just going to be securing the ponytail in different parts where I feel it's not as secure. And then this is what your ponytail should look like. Now for the foam part, we are going to be using bandanas. Bandanas are so cheap, you can get them for a dollar at dollar stores or at thrift shops. You can, get, you can find them anywhere, you can use headbands, whatever. Today I'm going to be using a red one to match my lipstick. So I'm going to be taking this kind of folded up like you saw there and I'm just going to be wrapping it around my head like so, pulling it up into the front middle part of my noggin and we're just going to be simply tying a knot so it's nice and secure. You can either have the knot on the bottom or the top, it really doesn't matter, it's much more pin up to have it this way, but it's totally up to you and what you want to do. Then to give it a little more of an edgier style, I kind of took my finger and pulled some of the hair in front of the bandana to give it kind of like a poof look to it, so it looks really kind of edgy and really cool as well. 
Then I just secured the bandana with some bobby pins and here is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give a huge thumbs up. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye! Thank you.